The question is, what are some methods for controlling excessive seepage? Typical objectives would be to reduce Q, avoid piping, and if possible, reduce pore pressure. One of the ways in which you can achieve this is to provide what are called cutoff walls. So let's consider the concrete dam examples. These are the cutoff walls. Basically, you provide sheet pile walls beneath the concrete dam so that the water is not going to have to flow around it because the sheet pile walls are impermeable. So here I have done some calculations with and without uh, cutoff walls for the same problem. And for this flow net, the number of flow channels works out to be 4 and number of equipotential drops works out to be 9. Here for the same number of flow channels, number of equipotential drops have increased to 17 from 9. So this is basically the fundamental difference between the two. Keeping K and delta H the same, Q works out to be 0.44 K times delta H for this problem, whereas it works out to be 0.235 K times delta H for this problem. So the ratio between the two is 0.529, and therefore the volume rate is cut down by almost uh, by a factor of two. The hydraulic gradient in this region works out to be about 1.11, whereas here it's 0.294. So it's definitely much less than the hydraulic gradient over here, and therefore uh, it minimizes the potential for uh, piping. I also calculated the pore pressure at this point, which is in the middle of the base of the dam, and it is 93.8 kilopascal here, 82.5 kilopascal over here. It is little smaller, but not drastically smaller. So the primary benefits are over here. The quantity of seepage is cut down, and the hydraulic gradient in the tow down is cut down significantly. I also want to point out that the same effect can be realized by providing what is called a clay blanket, basically an impermeable blanket built uh, at the toe uh, over a certain length. Now the water that comes from the upstream, instead of coming out at the toe, is going to have to flow around the blanket and come out at a certain distance. And therefore, uh, basically, you have lengthened the uh, flow line, which increases the number of equipotential drops. And therefore, it has the same effect as we have observed in this method, where we have provided cutoff walls. Since we are not uh, focusing on earth dams in this course, I will not elaborate them over here. But if you are interested, uh, you may read uh, the sections in the book. Uh, sometimes uh, a clay core is built uh, in the middle of a rockville dam or a dam uh, built out of sandy material. Um, and sometimes you provide a filter at the toe of the dam in order to bring the top phreatic line into the filter instead of letting it flow on the face of the dam, which can uh, lead to erosion and eventual failure. But I'll let you read the detail from the book on these.